This year's CES coverage is sponsored by Corsair and eBuyer. You probably learned by now that I'm the monitor guy. I absolutely love how the technology seems to be moving at the speed of light. And at the Asus CES suite, there's some new displays that are certainly bound to pique your interest. First up is the new Thunderbolt equipped ProArt screen, and it's certainly a big boy. With 32 inches of screen real estate, the PA32UC as it's named is suitable for both Macs and PCs and is meant to be styled like a fountain pen, though I'm not quite sure I personally see the resemblance. But I can't argue with the 4K IPS panel as it's simply stunning, and this is in no doubt part thanks to the fact that it supports HDR. Creative professionals will be very pleased to know that it's a very colour accurate panel, with 99.5% of the Adobe RGB colour space covered, as well as 95% of DCI-P3 and 85% of Rec 2020. Sitting right next door is the Designo MX38VC, which is definitely right up my streets. It was announced at CES last year, but it hasn't seemed to hit shelves yet. You already know how much I love my LG UC99, and this actually shares a lot of similarities, with a gigantic 38-inch IPS ultra-wide screen and a resolution of 3840 by 1600 Just like its smaller cousins, it stars a Qi charger in its base, but sadly it lacks any sort of adjustments other than tilt, which is a real shame at this price. I'm keen to get it in for a review, as if the level of input lag is lower than the LG, then it may well become my new screen of choice for editing and immersive gaming. But of course, the real star of the show is something truly spectacular, the OLED PQ22UC. Sporting a 21.5 inch OLED display, the image reproduction from this thing is truly breathtaking, with beautiful contrast and blacks unlike anything I've ever seen from a monitor. It supports HDR content via the HDR10 standard and covers an absolutely insane 99% of the DCI-P3 colour space. There are two major drawbacks though, as this will no doubt be extremely expensive, and this is actually a small portable display, so it's not really designed for permanent desk use. It's really cool that this tech exists though, as if you're after a portable display for photo shoots or editing on the go, then the product is definitely for you. But if you're after something that is going to be a permanent desk fixture and is significantly larger, then while it's not here yet, I guess it shows that this tech is coming very, very soon. So let's hope it's not a long wait. A massive thank you to you guys for watching and checking out this video. Subscribe for full reviews of these monitors as they land, as well as some other CES coverage, including the RG suite that will be coming in a separate video. And of course, as always, a huge shout out to eBuy and Corsair for flying us out to CES, and Asus RG for sponsoring the channel as always. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.